remember that we're here as a family and we're here to learn. I've actually learned a lot as I've gone around talking to people, just saying, oh my God, look at your makeup, how has it been done? I absolutely love it. And then I go home and I practice. Yep. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah, practice 100%. makes perfect. 100%. It's important for each one of you to remember that in order to get to wherever it is you think you're going, that um, it's important to do the basics, to stick with the basics. We're starting to shape the brow to how we would like it to look and creating that balance. Any soft synthetic brush, they're good for blending. And this is very good to use under eyes when people are concerning about using too much concealer under their eyes and they don't want too much um, product under their eyes. How can I get you to do the biggest smile you've ever done? Look directly at the camera. Do the biggest, see this. Look how beautiful this is. Do it again, big huge smile. Fun fact, my eyes are about a quarter of the size that they look. It's all magic and trickery. So you don't have to actually put your crease where it, it exists. You can create your own crease, um, which is what I've done today, but you can also do it. So I've shown, my beautiful client here, that we've shaken it, we've taken the excess off. I ask her to hold her lip taut, just so she can get that first layer on really smoothly. It can be hard, it's an internal battle, isn't it? Because you think, oh, but this woman could get so much more for her money. And believe me, I've been there. But at the same time, if they want to buy it, they're going to buy it, they're going to fall in love with it. And then in a few months time, or a week, let's face it, they'll be back in a week for more eyeshadows and more lip colors. But then, they will be back to buy more skincare in three months and you can offer them the choice then too.